So Capcom's Tokyo Game Show presentation for Sunbreak happened, and I wanted to briefly discuss what was shown. Violet Mizutsune is the first rare species we've had in a long time, and he seems to be quite a bit different from the standard Mizu, leaving fire trails on the ground. I saw people online getting disappointed at yet another fire monster, since Sunbreak has added a lot of them, but if he's fun to fight then it shouldn't be an issue. Flaming Espionage is a subspecies that seems to be a harder version of the original, with bigger attacks, defense down, and delayed timings. I hope we get to fight him outside of the tower, because I'd really like to fight a harder Espionage in actual maps. Risen Camellios is the first of these powered up monsters, and he looks significantly different to the standard Camellios, not just in terms of appearance but also the fight. He seems to have a lot of new attacks. It's reasons like this why I haven't yet made an update for the early evolution videos. I want to wait for all possible variants to release so I can cover everything. I wasn't completely satisfied with Sunbreak Camellios, so hopefully this one is a lot better. It seems as if the mist he spreads in the air is naturally red, which looks really cool. We're going to get at least one more Risen Elder Dragon in the next title update. I predict now that they'll skip Teostra and Koshala, since they were in world and had alternate forms there. Instead, I think we'll get Risen Valstrax, as he is yet another returning Elder Dragon in Rise that wasn't in World. One change I wanted to see with Valstrax was with his ambushes. In his introduction cutscene, you can see him send down Dragon Energy Balls while flying through the sky, and I was hoping he could do it in Sunbreak with his ambush there, to make it more dangerous. With Risen Valstrax, it could still happen. Risen Shigaru Magala is also a possibility, especially since we know Gorn Magala can become afflicted, what if it was a setup for the next title update? Afflicted Gorn Magala overcomes the Curio and Malt, becoming Risen Shigaru Magala, but if he fails to overcome them, they mess with the process and turn him into Chaotic Gorn Magala, who will be the variant added in the next update. Event quests release when they release, so getting teasers is cool, but right now I still haven't completed all the base game quests. I know a lot of people wanted layered weapons, and it's good to see them added as a universal option. The afflicted monster cap raising to 120 means the next update will raise it to 140, which means 4 ultimate difficulty. Now what kind of put a damper on the whole thing was the paid layered weapons. Paid layered armor was something I'm not really a fan of, and this is just another step in that direction. I'm not really opposed to paid DLC in general, but there are specific cases where I'd rather it just be in the base game like in the 3DS games. So yeah, those are my thoughts on title update 2. It seems pretty good. Lots to do and fight, with some slight concerns here and there, but good signs of things to come. That's all for today, enjoy Evolution of Barioth next week.